The Hopi believe they emerged from below into this world after three prior worlds had begun and ended. This is the story of their fourth world. Mankind, by their own corruption and greed, brought the world to a terrible mess in, in a world before this one. And uh, out of this grew some very sincere and honest men who sat down and meditated and eventually, uh, by meditation, sensed that there was another world which could be a better world and to which mankind could go for and be saved. And they called upon the world of nature, animals and birds. And each of the clans relate this part of the emergent story in their own way. And with the Eagle Clan, naturally, it was the eagle that flew into the sky. And then they would ask him what he could tell them about the world up there. And so when he landed, the eagle related that he had found life up there. And this is the Hopi story about the emergence the Hopi look to nature for knowledge to gain a better world, while the Western mind looks to science in the search for a new perspective on life. And I'm sure that Hopis, even though they are awed by technology and the things that it does, they're not necessarily surprised by it. And so when I watched the television program in 1969, it was a grand show when the men landed on the moon. 35 degrees. Roger, 1202, we copy it. Coming under 321 down, 33 degrees. Tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. That was the first thing he said. Certainly, any hope it can recognize the cyclical nature of the landing on a moon in terms of finding a new life, a new future for mankind. And that's precisely what happened with the natural eagle when he came across to the fourth world and in that remote day. <laughs> 